Okay guys, I have waited a very long time for this order. <laughs> Sarah here welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video today's video is gonna be a first impression I ordered from a brand for the very first time and it's a brand that I've always wanted to order from I've always heard really really amazing things from the brand naked it's spelled na-kd but I always see people ordering from them they have such cute styles everything is always really trendy but I also hear all the time how great the quality is from them so I wanted to check them out because lately I've definitely been more into pieces that I feel like I'm investing in pieces that are good quality that are gonna last me for a few years years so naked has been at the top of my list as far as brands that I wanted to check out so I actually have my very first order from them right here today as you guys can see it's still sealed we are gonna be doing a true first impression on this I am gonna unbox everything here on camera for the very first time and you guys will get my real first time reactions to the quality and all the pieces and I'll also try them on and since it's the holiday season I'll show you guys how I would style each of these pieces for various holiday events but if you're new here I just want to welcome you to my channel we are in the middle of vlogmas right now so I would love it if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're interested in fashion beauty and lifestyle content and obviously as well as vlogs since there's a ton of those going up this month and then for everyone watching please make sure to like this video and leave me a comment down below if you guys want me to do more of these like first impressions on different fashion brands and stuff please let me know in a comment and let me know if there is a specific brand you guys would like me to check out and review okay guys I have waited a very long time for this order and then it actually came in a week ago and I've been waiting to film this video so I really want to dig into it we're just gonna start tearing through this puppy so I got five pieces and whenever I do one of these types of videos I try to make sure to do a little bit of a variety I try to do at least one top and one bottom or dress or jumpsuit or romper or something like that that kind of fits more full body and then I like to vary it between basics and like something a little bit fancier or outerwear and stuff I really did want to do outerwear for naked because I hear amazing things about their jackets but I've just ordered so many jackets if you guys have been watching the vlogs you know like every single order that's come in has been some sort of outerwear so I skipped that for this order but if I end up really really liking their stuff I'll probably go back and order a jacket or two but we'll start here for right now I'm just gonna kind of randomly pull out pieces not a lot of black I'm realizing but this first piece okay this is the roll neck sleeveless top oh okay this is actually thinner than I thought it was going to be. I thought that this was going to be more of like a sweater like material, but by me saying thinner, I don't mean that it doesn't feel like good quality. It actually feels like really good quality. It's just a lighter, more breathable material than I thought. I thought that this was going to be more of like a thicker knit. I actually don't mind that because turtlenecks on me can be really hit or miss. Like this is fine. It's a little bit lower and it's not too bulky, but when it starts getting bulky, because I am a petite person, I'm 4'11", it can just look a little overwhelming on me. So I think the fact that this is not a sweater material, it's just more of like a jersey ribbed material is probably better but you guys I have to say the quality on this thing oh my god like you can just feel the construction like I can definitely feel a difference in the ribbed material that they use for this versus some of my other like t-shirt ribbed tops it feels really really good like such a good fabric it honestly almost like feels designer but yeah this is the first piece just like this black tank top turtleneck top I love tops like this for the fall and the winter time because I do live in Southern California we don't get like super super cold so I don't need to be crazy bundled up but sometimes I still like the look of a more wintry look so doing something like this turtleneck but I'm not gonna overheat because it is a tank top is a style that I really really like again quality is just amazing on this piece it fits so nicely I will say though do your brows after you put this on because the neck on this is so tight when I put it over my head it like clung to my face and it pulled all of my eyebrows down and I had to like reflip them so Fair warning, the neck is kind of tight going over the head, but this is such a cute style. It looks so sophisticated and it looks so effortlessly dressy. So I paired this top with these leather pants. These are old from Opali, but I just felt like leather with this would go really well because this just feels so sophisticated. So throw in some leather and it makes it feel a little bit younger and a little bit trendier. And then for shoes, I'm gonna go with these chunkers just because I just found them. I was looking for them all last winter and I could only find one and I thought that I had accidentally like given away one of the shoes. But I found it we're good these are coming back into rotation this winter and personally I love these shoes with these leather pants and then to finish this off just a little black shoulder bag I have this one it's like a dupe for the by far bag but 
This one would be great if you're doing like a girl's gift exchange holiday night out or something like that. I think that this outfit would just be absolutely perfect for something like that. Going bar hopping or even if you have like a holiday work event, you could do like pointed boots instead of these chunky ones and make it just like a little bit dressier depending on what you do. Like my work, for example, we usually go out to Nobu. So I feel like this would be a really great outfit for that. I would probably just throw a jacket over it because we tend to sit out on the patio on the water, like on the ocean. So it's a little bit breezy. So I definitely bring a jacket to cover my shoulders with but yeah definitely a great outfit for a bunch of different types of holiday events then next in this grab bag another black item okay this is the one that's worrying me the most as far as fit goes oh my god i should mention i always forget to tell you guys what size i get things in and i apologize because especially for me i go up and down sizes depending on how i want things to fit there's a lot of times that i want an oversized fit on things actually i think for naked i want you to size on everything so on this turtleneck top i got a medium and i have been wanting like a satin maxi skirt and i saw that naked had one so two things i'm worried about on this one and we'll see how it goes when i get to the try on but length and then also just if it fits I mean I did look at the measurements but like whenever it comes to bottoms I honestly can be in between sizes especially depending on how things fit because I do have a little bit more volume in the back if you will so bottoms can be kind of tough so usually I size up when it comes to bottoms and I'm ordering from a brand for the first time but since this was a maxi skirt I stayed true to size because I didn't want it to be like crazy long but I know this is gonna be hard to see so again we'll probably judge it more in the try on but this is a bias cut maxi skirt it's got a slit but again material on this is so nice it's not like a thin satin it's a thicker satin you can feel the material on this I feel like the construction on this is really beautiful as well like this is gonna give you a nice shape and hug you really really nicely and then I love the bias cut it kind of gives the skirt a little bit of a flare at the bottom so this may end up being pretty long on me I mean I have it like almost all the way up to my boobs and I'm sitting right now and it's still looking a little bit long so we'll see how this goes this is probably something that i'm gonna have to take into the tailor after this video but i think that this is such a good staple piece for the holiday season these like maxi satin skirts they're so easy to switch up and dress up and i actually might even show you guys a couple ways i would style this when we get to the try on so here's the skirt i'm hoping you guys can see the bottom i'm having a hard time seeing from that distance but a couple of things to start with first off the medium fits perfectly. So I definitely stay true to size with this piece. I love the slit on this. Again, the material feels amazing. I'm not wearing any shapewear right now and it feels like it does pretty well without shapewear. Like it could be smoother, but I think that's fine if you're lazy or you, or you just want to be a little bit more comfortable. And then for the petite girls, I have good news for you. I do not need to alter this skirt at all. Lengthwise, it is perfect. It's literally grazing the ground right now, which is always such like an amazing thing when that happens for me because obviously I have to alter a lot of my stuff. So I'm so glad that I don't have to alter this skirt. It just makes me so happy. But I will say in that same sense, if you are a taller girl, be aware. I would say probably size up so that it hangs a little bit lower on you so that you get a little bit more length. But yeah, I really love the skirt. Again, I like the fact that like, I actually like the way it's fitting on me without any shapewear because there's a lot of times I want to dress nice but I just don't want to wear shapewear so I think it'll look even smoother with shapewear but I don't think that you need it but anyways as far as how I would style this for the holidays definitely something like this the sweater that I've been wearing in the intro I think that this is a really cute look you're kind of cozy on top get a little sliver of stomach but then you have this like very very nice skirt on the bottom and I would definitely do it with like some nice black booties you can definitely do like full length boots as well I love a pair of knee-high black boots with a skirt that has a slit but like I said I think I think the booties work really well and I love the pointed toe on these and then just finishing this look off with a nice little black shoulder bag now I'm gonna switch the top so that I can also show it to you guys with a little bit of a nicer more formal fitted look then we have the exact same outfit but we switch out the top this one is from white fox you can wear it with the straps up or do it with the straps down it has enough structure that it does stay up and then if you don't like it tucked out you could always tuck it in if you wanted something more like this look. I would say this is a little bit nicer looking than tucked out, so it just kind of depends on the fanciness of the event that you're going to. But yeah, you can definitely dress up this skirt for like a super, super formal event with a top like this. And then if it's really cold where you're at, you can always take a big warm jacket like this and throw it over top just to like wear when you're going in and out. Next up in this bag, the only white piece. I try to stay away from ordering creams and whites, but in the winter, for some reason I gravitate towards them. You have to clean them so much. <laughs> and I separate out my whites and creams from darks and light color clothes so those just don't get washed as much since it's a smaller category and I end up forgetting that I have pieces in these colors but I loved this top in the cream color so this one I feel like the neck is more similar to what I have here this is just like a mock neck again oh my god I cannot get over the quality 
of everything that I'm pulling out. Everything feels like something you would find in a designer store. It feels so soft, it feels thick. The construction on all of this just feels so amazing and it's like thicker in certain places where it should be, just like, such good quality. I can't with this. But the material on this is kind of like a wide rib knit. Again, I think just a great staple piece for fall and winter. It's gonna keep you a little bit cozier because it does have a little bit of a mock neck, but such an easy piece again to dress up or dress down. I love this, like again, such a good staple. I love the way that fits. It's still fitted enough to give you a shape, but not so fitted that it's like showing off every nook and cranny. So you can still feel really comfortable in it. And then I love the length on the neck. It doesn't make me feel like too bunched up or anything like that. And then to style it for the holidays, I would definitely do this on something like Christmas. I have this green cargo maxi skirt from Cider. And then I would definitely take this sweater with it and then just tuck it in just so that it's not like billowing out over my hips and then also this way too it just like shows off my waist a little bit for shoes i have these brown pointed toe booties this would definitely be like if your family dresses up a little bit for christmas but if you wanted to do more cozy you could obviously switch out to like flat boots and a pair of jeans or something like that again this is like a little bit of a fancier christmas look and then just finish it off with a little brown shoulder bag and Again, such a cute outfit for Christmas. This top just feels like very festive and wintry, so I feel like it's perfect to wear on Christmas day. Then next is the dress that I ordered, and I got it in this like beautiful Kelly green color. I had wanted like a deeper green dress to possibly wear for my birthday party, but the green dress I had originally selected sold out like while I was finishing up putting things in my cart. So I had to grab a different green dress, but this is still definitely a style of dress that is like a staple. I would totally keep this in my closet. And since it is a lighter green, it can be worn in more seasons, but it's this long sleeve ribbed V-neck dress. It's a maxi dress. So all the way to the floor, it seems like it's quite form fitting. So stuff like that makes me a little bit nervous. I'll definitely try this on with shapewear because I think that this is definitely a piece that needs shapewear. But again, just a great staple piece. This one would be like an easy one to throw on if I got invited to like some last minute haul holiday plans. Super easy to style depending on how nice the event might be. First off my bad on this one. This is a midi dress, not a maxi dress. I don't know if you guys can even see the actual length on this, but it goes to like on me again, I'm 411. It goes like right above my ankles, like maybe an inch above my ankles. This is such a good like basic dress to have in your wardrobe if you need to throw something on really quick. I will say definitely do shapewear with this because this is like so form fitting. Also too, I couldn't find the shapewear that shorts. So ignore the underwear lines in the back here. I would definitely say to do short shapewear with this because this hugs everything, but it's such a beautiful color. And again, such a great piece that you can dress up or dress down depending on the event that you're going to. As far as styling it for a holiday event, I'm gonna style it right now for a little bit more of a casual event. Starting out with these like beige lug sole booties. I like these because they're comfortable comfortable and pretty casual, but since they're patent and shiny, it dresses them up just a little bit. And since this is such a beautiful shade of green, I'm like kind of inspired to play with colors. So I would definitely throw on this like blue plaid coat over top for like coming in and out. But yeah, I really like this dress. Again, it's a good staple to have on hand if you need a quick outfit and you want to do long sleeves or something like that. But just make sure that you have shapewear on hand because it will show off everything on you. Then lastly, the biggest piece, this is a sweater. I got one chunky sweater and I did go true to size. I stayed medium. I didn't size up to go oversized. I kept my restraint, but this is a black cable knit chunky sweater. <gasps> oh my God. This looks so cozy. It's heavy. Not like heavy in a bad way, just like heavy and like it's, it's weighty, you know? It just feels like it's gonna keep me warm. But oh my God, I love it. You guys will see how long it is on me in a second. It goes down to like, my upper thigh. So if I wear it with jeans, it's gonna go past, so I'll probably tuck it in or something. But then like with a pair of leggings, I feel like it's gonna like slightly cover the butt so you don't feel too exposed, which is great. But look at the knit on this. Again, it's so thick. It feels so, so nice. Like everything that I've unboxed feels like things that you would find in like the nicer section of a store like Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's. Like everything feels amazing. All of this feels like clothing that you're gonna keep for years and years and it's gonna retain its quality. Just a great haul in general of a bunch of winter staples that I'll probably be using for a few years. Okay, so here is the sweater on. It's definitely a very cozy vibe. The only thing that I would say is that I feel like it's a little bit boxy. I probably, had I known this, would have sized down one. The model that was wearing it actually had a jacket over so I couldn't see exactly how boxy it was, but I still like it. Still definitely would keep it. I would just say, I probably wouldn't style it with jeans like I'm doing right now. I would probably do leggings, but all of my leggings have holes and stuff in them right now. I'm ordering new ones. So we're gonna go with jeans for right now, but to just kind of like take away the boxiness of this, I would probably just do 
a little bit of a tuck just to like kind of define that waist and give a little bit more of a shape and the sweater is like really nice and cozy again i think with leggings it would work better because you get a more fitted structured look on the bottom and then you can have the boxiness on top but if you're gonna do like baggy jeans with this boxy of a sweater i think tucking it in works wonders but this sweater is definitely perfect for like a cozy holiday activity whether it's like baking cookies with your family or going up to the snow and just chilling in the cabin by the fire those are the vibes that i definitely get with this sweater so yeah if i'm doing casual i would definitely do the leggings or jeans and then for this one in particular it actually bring back all of the things from the first look so these chunky black booties especially if you're wearing this outfit in the snow i feel like these boots would be perfect and then the little black shoulder bag kind of dresses it up just a touch not a lot just enough so that it looks a little bit more pulled together but yeah just like the perfect little boxy cozy knit sweater for hanging out with your family doing like the wholesome holiday activities Okay guys, so overall thoughts on Naked. The pricing is obviously gonna be just like a little bit higher than something like Boohoo or H&M. I don't shop Zara, but my friend Michelle does and she ordered from Naked at the same time as me and she said that the prices are very comparable to Zara, but that the quality on Naked is probably a little bit better than Zara. So I think you're getting a great value for these, especially if you're looking for pieces that you wanna be able to keep for a few years that are gonna last and still be really good quality a few years down the line. I will say my order did take a little bit of time to ship out. I think I ordered on a Saturday and my order didn't ship out until like Wednesday but once it did ship it was fast it was at my house within a couple of days so I keep that in mind it does seem to take them a little bit of time to fulfill the orders but everything is definitely well worth the wait and everything is definitely well worth the price especially now with inflation being the way it is you want to make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck and if you're willing to spend just a few more dollars to get better quality things I think that naked is definitely worth the splurge all right you guys well that's gonna be it on my review for naked as far as my thoughts and first impressions go but if you have any other questions about naked or any of the pieces that I showed please feel free to leave me a comment down below and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are new to join us for vlogmas but anyways i love you guys thank you so much for watching i will be back tomorrow with a new vlog for vlogmas so i will see you guys then bye